been 11 years now since three teenagers devised a plan to open fire at Green Bay East High School. Luckily, the plan was never carried out, but it sent a message that led to change. NBC 26's Shane Gustafson reports on what the school has done differently since. It was a Columbine-style attack. They did a great deal of research over the Internet. Planned for the east side of Green Bay. Blowing up East High School, killing themselves in the process. I've seen a lot of troubling things as DA, but to say this is deeply disturbing would be a gross understatement. I mean, it's shocking. Guns and homemade bombs found inside a house, all for a planned attack that never happened. And it's all because one student spoke up. Comfortable feeling knowing that all the time of engagement we had with students, that one of the students had stepped up and let us know what was happening. Lori Furk, now the principal at Green Bay East, is talking about Matt Atkinson, awarded several times over the last 11 years for going to police and potentially saving hundreds from that planned attack. There's a, a lot of um, you know negative things said about people who report crimes or report potential crimes. And I think Matt broke the mold here, and I think he's realizing how important it is. 11 years later, others are learning the same lesson. It's a lesson in dealing with problems and finding out about them through communication. And it's amazing how many things have been prevented, and not obviously to the scale of, of what we've been talking about, but just different fights or different drugs have been located in schools or different weapons, knives, things like that because students now feel comfortable talking to us. School resource officers say the number of problems within school walls have declined in recent years. They credit a new approach taken by school administrators, but technology makes keeping up with kids harder. The way kids are nowadays is there's ways of hiding things through their different cell phone apps. There's hidden apps even for parents. If you look at your, your son or daughter's cell phone, there's a lot of secret apps on there where they can hide things. But there's a way of getting back on track. They might mess up. Is that a way of just throwing them to the curb and saying you're done? Or do you take what they had and work through a process with them so they recognize that, oh, that's an error on my part, or that's an error that should have been corrected? Shane Gustafson reporting there. The three men arrested for the plot have been released from jail. We did reach out to all three of them for this report and did not hear back. But tonight, administrators at Green Bay East say it's best to look at the positives of that day and be happy that nothing more serious happened.